folks, welcome to news roundup number 106. I know we British have a reputation for talking about the weather a lot, but honestly it is so diverse. We have the most amazing thunderstorms rolling around at the moment. So if you hear me um, jump and say, oh, that will be a thunderclap. Okay, <laughs> let's get going. Surprising the things you will find in a cemetery. According to the Daily Express, a tree in St Synog's Church at Diffinog near Sennybridge, Powys in Wales has been revealed to have been around for longer than the pyramids. The yew tree is more than 5,000 years old from the era 3000 BC and could well be the oldest living tree in the world, a title currently held by a bristlecone pine in California which is known to be 5,063 years old. Tree ageing expert Janice Fry said, I'm convinced this is the oldest tree in Europe. It was planted on the north side of an ancient burial mound. It is so old that it has split into two halves, one 40 foot wide and the other 20 feet wide. The British weather continues to dumbfound. See, I told you, you can't get away with not talking about the weather. A Daily Mirror story says that people in Poole, Dorset, were shocked when they were hit by a freak hailstorm and there was flash flooding in nearby Bournemouth after heavy downpours and hail. Congratulations to 38-year-old Rebecca Coles from Bristol, who, according to Manchester Evening News, has broken a UK free diving record after swimming nearly Oh, sorry, four lengths of an Olympic-sized pool without coming up for air. Rebecca Coles held her breath for more than two and a half minutes as she swam a total of 179 metres. She told the paper, I'm so pleased I have done it. It's my first monofin record. My sights are now set on the World Championships where I will compete in no fins, monofins and static dives. Many people followed the World Cup recently, but not 39-year-old Nick Hancock, who has just spent 43 days on the most remote outpost in the UK, Rockall, beating the previous record set by a solo man by three days. Rockall, which is just 20 metres high, is 286 miles off the west coast on Scotland and is almost uninhabitable, reports the Daily Mail. Nick, a chartered surveyor from Ratho, near Edinburgh, was completely cut off from civilization, apart from a satellite phone. He said, I'm not a football fan, so I feel quite fortunate that I missed out on the television being dominated by the World Cup. My wife, on the other hand, is a fan, and joked that she was glad I was away, so she could watch all the games without me complaining. If you just reverse that... I wonder if I could go there for the next World Cup and leave my hubby here watching the football. Nick's efforts raised £10,000 for the Help for Heroes charity. The only other inhabitants on the island were a few birds. So there you go, that's one way to get away from football. I'll have to remember that. Take care and see you soon. Bye bye.